Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Magic Arena. We're back once more with our red white form of the dinosaur Boros controlly list kind of thing. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? And I'll see you there. Okay, we're in, and uh, Fountain of Renewal Lightning Strike, I think, is perfectly fine. Yeah, we'll keep it. Little bit of life gain, we can stop aggro, maybe some late game stuff. Let's see what we're up against. Our opponent's gone down to six cards. Are they going further, or are they keeping? They're keeping and topping. Okay, so we're in for a good game. Presumably. Steam Vents. Ooh, if this one's Drake's, it's going to be a fun one. As you can imagine, uh, form of the dinosaur against a drake can be uh, quite the big hit. Oh, it's Jeskai Control then. Uh, nah. They do run drakes though, so there is that. But it's mostly planeswalker stuff. Alright, I'm just going to go Sacred Foundry tap. There's not likely to be anything on turn 3 worth hitting with a lightning strike. It's going to be Enigma Drake at best, most likely. Good news is that they've got plenty of board wipes in there that just don't really do anything. Alright, let's revitalize. See if we find a Sacred Foundry off the top, then I would like to put that into play tapped instead. Ooh, Dawn of Hope. That is the key to victory. Can we slap it in underneath a counter spell? I'm doubtful, to be honest. Yeah, that's a... That's a Sinister Sabotage right there. So, I could try bait out the counter spell with a lightning strike. See if they're really hasty on their counters. Okay. They let it go. Like a good control player. And to Fairy. Okay, so if he has the negate, we lose. If he doesn't, we're still in the game. Okay, so blue and blue land, most likely. No, no, okay. Doesn't really make a difference either way. Alright, Ixalan's Binding. You show me negate. It can't be syncopate, because I have the one mana open. Well, okay. It's fairy down. That's one Planeswalker. So he still has Ral in here, and he still has Crackling Drakes. They usually run Crackling over Enigma Drakes most of the time. A Lyra! Alright. Well, that's getting bound as well then. Syncopate X0. <laughs> yeah, this is how we beat Control in game one. Uh, I'm actually going to Dawn a Hope because I get the card draw from the Fountain of Renewal. I think this game is actually potentially ours. If they have Blink of an Eyes, they can get back these. Permanence, shall I? It's just guy control run, shall I? A lot of the time, I'm not really sure. Ooh, double strike and a cleansing nova. Well, I think I'm just gonna fountain here. See if this eats a counter. It doesn't. All right. I'm opting to put the Fountain in over activating Dawn of Hope for a 1-1 Soldier, because this is actually a repeatable card draw, and at this early stage in the game, uh, when my life total is as high as it is, I don't really need to pressure my opponent's life total all that much. Uh, I can actually just gain life from my Fountains and draw loads of cards. And find the good stuff, because if I can have more cards in my hand than my opponent, that's usually a good way to beat a control deck. They really want to counter you down to nothing. So that they can uh, then stabilize with their top deck counters and their draws to get more cards than you. So this is going to take a counter spell because he's got no choice really. Yeah. I haven't given him anything worth countering when he's had the opportunity to counter it. So now that he has the opportunity he just feels pressured into just countering anything that I have. Apparently, a treasure map is certainly worth taking out. Okay, let's draw two more cards. Boop, boop. It's a land for the turn, so that's good. 
And another Cleansing Nova. Ooh, and another Dawn of Hope. Well, that would eat a counter spell if I wanted to fire it off. I think I'm just going to Sacred Foundry tapped and just Ritual. Pretty soon I'm going to start making Dawn of Hope tokens. But I would love to draw into my third and fourth bindings for both Ral and Crackling Drake. So I still am convinced that he's got it. Let's see if he counters this. No, he lets it go. Okay. Ooh, spare Dawn of Hope. Alright, so as long as he doesn't bind them, they're never going anywhere. Alright, let's draw a card. Who's the control player now? It's me. I'm the control player. Ugh. Alright, well, that looks like... I mean, I could just double lightning strike to get him to counter something. Or I could make a Dawn of Hope token. I do have to worry about cleansing Nova, uh, destroying all our artifacts and enchantments as well. It's something to be aware of. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Go for the Bolt on Shalai. Mm, no counters in hand. Alright, fair enough. History of Benalia. Not really a thing I need to worry about. He's full of... He's very threat dense though. You can't just bind a single thing and beat this guy. Which is... Uh, it's good deck building. I'm going to decline these ones because I'm actually just going to start making Dawn of Hope tokens. Ugh. Well... I can make one token, play the fountain, and make a three drop. Or I could play Fire Song and Sunspeaker. I bet he's got like Essence Scatters crammed up in his hand, to be honest. But I also don't. I don't think I particularly care about him scattering this. I'm never going to get an opportunity to play it anyway, so. Let's slap it down. This ritual is now a gain 4, deal 3 as well. But, I'd, yeah, the way he's hovering, it just doesn't say to me that this is going to happen. It's really here just as a roadblock and bait for him to do something that doesn't really matter to me. Laser shall I? Okay, so I'd love another spell that... Well, I suppose I could Sanguine Sacraments. So that's two spells that gain life, which means that I can point them both at shall I? So we got that going for us. He's protecting his History of Benalia tokens. Which says to me that he hasn't got much going for him other than that, so he needs to protect it very aggressively. Shalai's just an angel, right? Yes, so she doesn't get the buff from History of Benalia. I think the same goes for Lyra. I think she's also just an angel. They combo really well, Lyra and Shalai. They just shut down Burn. Easy. No draws here. I need to put the pressure on. Let's get that heat going. Oh. Does this resolve? <laughs> Please let it resolve. Oh! 115 life. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Okay. Right now we'll now we'll threaten to uh, kill our opponent. Now now it's time. That was beautiful. No draws. I've got everything I need, minus a binding, I suppose. But I'm gonna use my mana now to make Dawn of Hope tokens instead of wasting my opponent's time. Uh, so yeah, it's just two tokens here. Do it on my opponent's end step so he can't. Cleansing Nova my tokens away. Then again, if he was going to do that, then he's leaving my bindings and my Dawn of Hopes and my fountains are alone. So it would be best for me if he did. That's an Aurelia. This is an odd deck. It doesn't contain the pieces I thought it did, but maybe this is the Pro Tour version? I didn't actually watch Jeskai during the Pro Tour. So I don't know if this is just part of their 
deck structure. I'll draw one card this time. Yeah, because I just need to make sure that I have my land drop, and if I do, I can make two tokens. And there's a spare binding. I'm going to keep it as a spare binding as well, because taking out Teferi is dead important. Because I'm dead if I don't. Alright, so, block, take one. It's going to be a very slow and grindy path to victory. Say no, say no. Oh, 29 cards in our deck. We're getting there. Ixlon's Binding, okay. Well, now I'm probably going to have to fire off the Ixlon's Binding. Yeah, let's take him back to Fairy. So if he can counter my binding on his binding, then we're in trouble. Oh. You need to take a time out. That's really good for us. I don't care about my life total for obvious reasons. He's not drawing a card which increases the odds of him getting a counter spell in hand. So the odds of me binding his binding to take out his Teferi are ever increased. And I can just Cleansing Nova if it all resolves. Uh, do I Dawn of Hope? No, because I'm probably going to try and... I suppose I should because if Binding doesn't resolve... I'm not sure. I'm not sure which order I actually want to go in. Let's decline all of this. I need all the mana I can have. Just do it on, to be on the safe side, essentially, because I've got nothing better to do. Right, so I could Cleansing Nova to see if he has a counter spell. If he has the counter, then the road is clear for Binding on Binding. Oh, no, he's bound by Binding. I have to Cleansing Nova. I don't know why I'm so silly today. It was very odd. Huh. But... Uh, there's no combat damage to be had through all of this. I need to wipe it all. I could always cleansing Nova the enchantment, which actually lets me bind something. Five. Yeah. I lose my Dawn of Hope and Fountain of Renewal stuff, but it allows me to get rid of Teferi again, and then he can no longer bind me. So, no more life gain, but I shouldn't need it. Take to Fairy. Kill the board. And we're good to go. Knight of Grace. Yeah, I had a bit of a, a weird moment there. I thought there was something else under the binding. I really want thinking through the way that I should have been. Four. Four. Yeah, I need one more mana in order to play treasure map and still make two tokens. Which is fine, I suppose. Just gonna pass. I wanna see if he swings in so I can swing back for two. Then I can draw two cards. As opposed to the one on the block. I'm assuming he's not gonna attack though. Oh, okay. Works for me. So, make a token. I could even ritual and draw a card. Or make another token. This still represents two cards, so I'm going to go for this. Cards and damage are great. Alright. Yeah, let's draw some cards. I need my land drop for the turn. There it is. Okay, so four, four, two. Yeah, decline this. Play this. Play this. That's the turn. Get the upkeep stop. Another Knight of Grace. Hmm. Binding on that might have been a nice choice since he couldn't play the Knight of Grace, but. It just doesn't seem worthwhile throwing an Ixlon Binding out there. Not just yet, anyway. Okay, let's upkeep stop. For our planes. 
Just making a land drop for the turn is just fine for me. And then let's swing for two. He blocks two and takes two. And we gain two. It's kind of annoying that they're there, but we still win this in the long run. Uh, yeah, let's draw some cards. Yeah. Ooh, Star of Extinction. That's a card. All right, pass the temp. Get her up, keep stop. It's at 35. So his hopes of beating us outside of combat damage are in Teferi. And if he can't get access to Fairy, then we're in a nice position. All right, I'm going to... I think I'm going to Ritual. One. No, actually, he could syncopate it, and then that would be annoying. Yeah, let's just keep making tokens. And up, keep stop. Revitalize. Pointless. At this stage it is, anyway. Ooh, arch. Yep, I like that. Swing for two again. Make sure we get that upkeep stop for the treasure map. First strike in shenanigans. Into the 15 life he's on now. That's nice. Alright. One. Two. Mm, we can make two more. I'm going to decline this still. I don't need it. And pass. Lyra? Okay. Well, if Lyra's the case, then Star of Extinction is our option here. And we'll just go for an Arch Tap to draw a card instead of making tokens. I'm really, uh, I'm dreading the Cleansing Nova. At some point soon. I guess we'll Ritual as well to draw some cards. There's both of our Sanguine Sacraments. Okay. My turn. Flip the treasure map. And land to the bottom at this point. We've got plenty of lands in hand already. So any land drops we needed to make are pretty pointless. So we're getting to that point now where five, six, seven, one, two, three, six, seven. You can play three, four, five. Yeah, so we're playing outside of Star of Extinction range by playing this now. Let's, does it matter what we attack? His mana's very well situated actually, so I don't think it does, but I'm gonna hit his blue anyway. Counter spells are the most annoying part of his deck. This might just get sabotaged, honestly. I don't know what his counter package is. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Basically, he's making me pay that so that I can't make soldier tokens on his turn, which is uh, a fine move. We're at 18 cards now. Let's play a treasure map. That's the turn. And passes. Okay. So, upkeep stop. Anything not a land is fine by me. Deafening Clarion. We know he's running the Knights. But that's all it hits, really, is two cards that it hits. I think I'm going to bottom it. It's nice, but not necessary. Another treasure map is also nice, but not necessary. Let's play a Field of Ruin. Pass the turn, just make loads of soldiers again. I guess. I should really do the count on my mana, but I can't be asked. It's possibly uh, two mana spare for this treasure map. I'm a little concerned about extending into this any more than I already have. Since I already have the dominant position anyway.
Yeah, I had eggs axes. Cool. Right, my turn. Lightning strike. It's probably going to face to close this game out. Does he have a cell the wreckage? He has a wrath. Well, no blocks for wrath. And a seal away. Well, there's a dead wrath. You can seal away a token. Yeah. And take three. Uh, no draws. Two bindings is pretty much all I need. Uh, I'm just going to Sacred Foundry tap to this point. I don't really care. Yep, keep going. I just need to close this game out. Before there's a well and truly horrific blowout. Deafening Clarion. Yep, cool. I'm assuming that's the best he's got. Land and pass. Yeah, okay. Let's completely undo that. I'm going to make another one with a token. Since I'm not really planning on using it to draw cards. And it's my turn. Upkeep stop. Another land drop. Um, sure. Why not? 16 cards in our deck. My god. Alright, let's see if we can find out what that last card is. It's not a damage related spell. Okay. I'm just gonna like sacrament for 10 or something. I guess. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Uh, sure. It's a land. Okay. Alright, end the turn. Whatever. Any scoops. Right. Game one down. That was fairly stompy, if I do say so myself. Alright, Inescapable Blazes versus all of his uh, angels, planeswalkers, any of that sort of stuff. That's going to hit like a beast. Uh, Banefires are coming in because he can't interact with them. Count uncounterable spells are the best. Fire Song might as well come out. Very unnecessary. Deafening Clarions, if I'm going... Yeah, I should go full Star of Extinction over the Deafening Clarions, I think. Um, and bringing the Dawn of Hope as well. Hitting the, this combo on turn two is very devastating. If we can make it happen. Let's go down the Expensive Rituals. Let's go down... One Sanguine Sacrament. As long as we've got one, it doesn't really matter. And a Lightning Strike and a Revitalize. Maybe two Revitalizes. Mm, I kind of like Lightning Strike, actually, against, like, History of Benalia tokens, at the very least. This hits some stuff and doesn't force me to use Blazes and Stars against them. Yeah, let's, let's go like this, I think. This looks good. Did I keep form of the dinosaur in here? I sh probably shouldn't have. Hmm. I don't know. Well, this hand looks uh, particularly interesting. It's not really what I had in mind, though, because... It allows my opponent to do anything he wants for the first five or six turns. So I'm going to mulligan. And we got the Dawn of Hope on turn two. So I'm going to take that. And bottom that because it is not a Fountain of Renewal. The Inescapable Blaze. Wonderful. If we get to six mana and we find all four of these, then we're in a good spot. Alright, let's see if he has the Negate. He does not. Alright. While Treasure Map is the most useful one on turn two, this is the most important one. In general. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to play a Treasure Map to see if he wants to syncopate it. He does not. Alright. So we have the end step and we have the upkeep for the Treasure Map to find anything we want at this stage because we have the blazes and we're working up to Banefire. We actually just want land drops and 
Ixalon's bindings. Yeah. First time seeing Khan. Wasn't sure I was going to see him. Alright, well, you can have a Wrath. And then we'll end step our treasure map. Bane fire to the bottom. We've got one, and we need mana anyway. Oops, did not mean to do that. Um, well then, that's fine, I guess. I don't mind the lightning strike, I suppose, since he's got the wrath. The problem is, it's probably going to be a land to fairy. Which is going to be the more annoying one. Yeah, the shock into the minus to get to fairy. That's less than ideal. But we do have the end step treasure map. Oh. Why? Why shock it in? Why shock in a five drop? And do I want this? I do. For the card advantage. It's not a land, but... I think we want it anyway. Yeah, so now we have the card draw. Actually, don't need this stop. We might do actually if I want to strike this off, and I guess maybe I do. Shocks that in again, but for what this time? Are you you can have a planes. I think these lightning strikes are just going to go to face, to be honest. Because he's shocked so many lands in that he's already at 14. So these blazes don't really have to go far. I need to find two now just to win. Let's go hunting for land drops. It's another fountain. Eh, I don't need another one. I, need, I actually just need land drops at this stage. So, yeah, resolve that. Cleansing Nova. Eh. Ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. Alright. Flashes in Lyra. Okay. I was expecting a Teferi to be flashed in, to be honest. Hmm. Maybe a strike should go on Raph because he's so irritating. We'll let you swing in for your five, that's fine. Up to 16, which is still in a fine place to be. A resplendent angel. Uh, okay. So this cleansing nova really needs to resolve. I'll make use of that later. <laughs> Definitely not giving you this day full stroke. So then it does not resolve. I think he's already made his land drop for the turn, hasn't he? And he gets a angel. Okay. So I'm not gonna draw a card here because I'm gonna need to play around syncopate if I can help it. Destroy all creatures. He can syncopate me X3, but I have the three treasures to deal with it. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kill that. 
Oh, I don't get a chance to respond. Okay. Alright then. Um... Let's see what he grabs. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. It's the disdainful stroke that won't do anything. Not at this stage. Do need my land drops though. Let this go. Yeah. And an Ixlon's Binding on Dawn of Hope, I presume. It's not my wing con anymore. The correct answer is Dawn of Hope. There you go. Can't flash in to Fairy anymore. So I'm happy to untap here. Come on, land! Another Bane Fire. Okay, so I could Bane Fire for six, take him to ten. Uh, not Bane Fire, sorry, Blaze for six and take him to ten. Then I can untap Bane Fire him for another six, take him to four. This all involves eating treasures, though, is the thing. If I hmm. I'm almost tempted to just small bane fire him since I've got three. So like bane fire for five just to make it uncounterable. And then the final strike, surely I'll draw a land at that point and then an escapable laser can be the win. I think this ekes out the right amount of damage. As long as he doesn't have another Lyra to give Aurelia lifelink, then we're going to be all just, just fine. Khan can have huh, Memorial. Enjoy. So he's got a Guildgate and a Shalai in there at the moment. I'm not planning on... Oh my god, he's got everything! Ah! How infuriating. And he's got the Disdainful Stroke for my Cleansing Nova. Which means that either this Banefire or Blaze has to be pointed at Lyra to stop the life gain. And it goes on and on and on. Down to three. Yeah, we're just dead. What a draw. I can't gain enough life. I can't kill this and be fine. Let's find out what's on top. It's a land. All right. Game over. Uh, that was a really awkward game. Really awkward. That, that Lyra must have been a top deck. Had to have been. Right, does anything change? Nothing appeared to be worth bringing in Clarion over. Um, Sacrament doesn't seem worthwhile. He's not interacting with his graveyard. Don't really need the cantrips. We kept form of the dinosaur in and we shouldn't have. Let's go up the revitalizes. Extra cantrips are just worthwhile. Hmm. Yeah, deck in game two and three should be really hard for a control deck to handle. Just on all of the sheer uncounterability, but we just didn't find the lands we needed, I think, was the issue. I'm going to keep this. Need lands. 
But it has the blazes and the bindings. Bindings allow me to deal with things that I did not like. Dawn of Hope. Yeah, shocking that in. That was a brilliant top deck. Thank you, RNG Jesus. Because we got nothing to do in our early turns, so we can actually just use the combo to draw loads of cards. And make sure we find what we need, which is land drops. Drawing two cards a turn usually allows us to find all of those. The cleansing Nova's nice. Okay, just really building resources up until we get to these blazes. And dealing with any lifelink until then. History Benalia. Don't particularly care. Let's draw some cards. Land. More bindings. And a land. Okay. Hmm. I do wonder whether or not a cleansing Nova in the near future is going to have to happen. So we're taking two here, and then we're taking eight. Which is a lot. Okay. Draw a card. And there's our land for the Nova. And an arch, which makes five, six, seven. Yeah, it's not worth playing just yet into a field of ruin off the top. So we've got 12 of his 18. Invoke the Divine. Ah, and he gains life. All this life gain. God damn. Alright, well. Wasn't going to be drawing off it anyway, but it is nice for our opponent that they managed to find that. This probably gets disdainful stroked. But I think it's worth trying to hit anyway. Because it buys us a lot of time. So we're on 12. Good God. Yeah, this is a counter spell and a half. There's Banefire. So currently on a four turn clock, but that obviously is going to change. We've got 12 damage here, plus the Banefire for whatever that's worth later down the line. I'm going to have to go for this. It's going to eat a counter. Or not. Okay. Fair enough. Probably saving his more important stuff, Raph being flashed in as an example. Which allows him to play around all of our stuff, yeah. Raph is very annoying. I haven't seen you in a very, very, very long time though. But Raph flashing in all of these angels is a mighty fine plan that we just can't seem to keep up with. Which is why I'm going to bind you. If he wants to flash in response, he gives me a better target for this binding. Disdainful stroke. Cool. And pass. I'll hold open stuff. I don't need to cast this just yet. Or have I not made my land drop? Oh god, have I made my land drop? I don't think I have. Revitalize. Go and check. Flashes in history. Yeah, we're losing this one. I'm pretty convinced about that. We did not make our land drop. He's just made it to 22 just so easily. I'm just stayed there. We can't really keep up with it. Apparently, Raph Flash is the, uh, the sneaky counter-counter killer. I need... I needed my board wipe there. Yeah. Needed my board wipe. We take four if I go for Wrath, which is the better binding option. <sighs> Just don't know anymore. I think it's still the option. It gets syncopated no matter what, whether or not I play the Sacred Foundry or not, so I'm just going to go for it. It's 
Sacred Foundry tapped, taking eight, and then we're dead the next turn unless I use one of these blazes on his creature, which is absolutely atrociously bad value. Good god. Alright. 26, and dead on board. What a superb deck for my opponent. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's see what we would have drawn. Another binding. Alright, wouldn't have been good enough. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. I think... Is it just a bad matchup? Was it bad play? Was it mana screw? I just don't know. Maybe a combination of all of those things. Like, we do love binding things so that they can't play them and then just moving on with our lives. It's a really slow deck, is this one, but flashing in stuff was... It was brutal. It was more tempo than anything. And I don't know if this beats a tempo deck. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then be sure to like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon, all that jazz, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.